What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released iOS 11.4.1 to everybody. So if you have a device capable of running iOS 11, you can update right now, go over to settings, general, and then software update. I've got it running on my iPhone 8 right now, and I was testing it as a developer for a few weeks prior to making this video. My experience has been pretty good. This is likely going to be the last update that we ever see for iOS 11, so Apple spent a good amount of time refining everything to make sure that it worked well for devices that wouldn't be seeing any updates in the future, which won't actually be any devices in the first place because iOS 12 that's coming out later this year in fall of 2018 will support all devices that iOS 11 supported. But let's go ahead and talk about what's new in the last iOS 11 update ever. In the change log, Apple says that they corrected two things. One, they fixed an issue that prevented some users from viewing the last known location of their AirPods and Find My iPhone. I don't think I had that issue, but I, I may have ran into it once or twice, so that has been corrected. And number two, it improves the reliability of syncing mail, contacts, and notes with exchange accounts. Now, while those two issues I haven't heard a lot about, one issue that I've seen time and time again that was actually affecting a good chunk of people was battery. Battery life on iOS 11.4 was reportedly abominable for some devices and just wasn't working well at all. Devices would drain instantly, they would barely get through half a day in some cases, and Apple has remained radio silent on the issue. Um, I have had a pretty good experience with the battery life on iOS 11.4.1, so my only advice if you've been having battery life issues on iOS 11 point four would be to just go ahead and update to iOS 11.4.1 and although Apple didn't mention it in the official change log you can hope for now that that will uh, put an end to your battery issues but I don't know for sure uh, I can tell you though I haven't noticed any battery drain on the iPhone 8 at least while running iOS 11.4.1 although Apple didn't mention it in the change log there is actually one new feature inside of iOS 11.4 head over to settings touch ID or face ID and passcode Go ahead and enter your passcode really quickly. When you get inside, scroll down just a little bit, you're going to see a new option underneath all of the allow access when lock toggles called USB accessories. Now it's disabled by default and I would highly recommend leaving that toggle disabled just so your device is the most secure. It says unlock iPhone to allow USB accessories to connect when it has been more than one hour since your iPhone was locked. This is here first and foremost to counteract a law enforcement brute force passcode hacking tool called gray key. With that enabled, gray key can just keep trying and you won't have to enter your passcode after one hour of the device trying to enter your passcode and get into your device. With that disabled, gray key can only go at your phone for an hour or any malicious USB accessory can only try to access your iPhone for an hour before you'll have to enter your passcode again. So this is here for your security. I would highly recommend leaving that disabled, but if for some reason you have a USB accessory that would need access to your device all the time and you wouldn't wanna have to enter your your passcode to authenticate that, you could enable that right here. So that is the only new feature in this update. For the last iOS 11 update ever, definitely not very exciting. We did see things like AirPlay and the class kit framework for developers in iOS 11.4 alongside messages in iCloud, but 11.4.1 is just a small bug fix update. So that's iOS 11.4.1. If you enjoyed the video, if you learned something new, it does help me out if you drop a like. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos on iOS 11 and iOS 12 in the future. If you want to go that extra mile to help support the channel, you can head over to shop.ifdidos.com to buy a shirt and that would be incredible. But for now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great and I'll talk to you in my next video.